Ladies and gentlemen, live from Kona, Hawaii, it's Tata Hobo! Hi, it's Tai Ai Hobo. Welcome to beautiful Hawaii, where it's always beautiful. If you ever come over to Hawaii, in the Big Island, come on over and check out Tai Ai Hobo, or just Google it. Today is a really cool treat, man. So we got this orangedelic blotter. The reason why it's called blotter because they did a test back in the 60s and 70s called the Warshak test, and he used to do blotter test. Didn't do call it crinkled test or mottled, <laughs> whatever. Anyway, so this is the orangedelic. Do you see the faces and stuff in there? Well, they're all different. Everyone's unique in its own way. I'm gonna show you how to make this beautiful array of art, okay? I think it's important that you share everything you have, whatever you can. It's, uh, if you share it, it's priceless, you know? So come on, let's check it out. So after you got your shirt done, soaked in sodash and spun out in the spin cycle in the washer, your shirt's ready to dye. So, okay, what we do, we're going to lay this face up, okay? Now I'll get a zoom in on the table for you, okay? Um, oh yeah, you're not going to need any tools or anything. You don't need to go to Home Depot or Lowell's or anything to buy any tools, you know? So that's really cool, right? Yeah. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna lay this face up, okay? Face up. Okay, what we do is grab the corner here, and the corner here, and it's gonna float it over. Okay, make sure it's all flat, you know. Just like, just float it over from armpit to armpit. Okay, so we're gonna do like this. Like that, see how I match that armpit to that armpit? And this over here, and you got your thing right there, your top shoulder. So you have your three spots there, right? To make it all straight, you grab one in here, one in here, and just kind of push down, and just kind of like pop it out like, watch. See that? Makes it all straight. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do, we're gonna, this is your totem pole section, like this is where your like faces and stuff are gonna be. So we're gonna squish it all together like this. You, you, you can call it scrunch or crunch or munch or whatever you wanna call it, man. I say squish. And the final result would be the blotter. See how I'm doing? The, I'm gonna squish all this up here these were all with the faces and stuff and then I'm going to squeeze it all towards the center all of it towards the center right and just squish it together like this and I'll give you an aerial after I get done with the rubber bands but I'm just squishing it all together just like this okay and the rubber bands you only need several and I've showed you this before the high bridge low bridge you get three fingers and you pull it apart and you set it down on the table and you have flat, keep this flat on the bottom surface. You got your high bridge, low bridge, and you slide it under, all right? Okay, and then you get some more high bridge, flat. Okay, 
and just kind of like just put it all around in circles, you know, like get all your loose ends taken care of. Remember, nothing's perfect, man. I mean, if it is, it took a lot of effort to get there, and I don't know if it is perfect. See, perfection is boring. Everything is beautiful, man. So don't worry about like stressing out about this, man. Just have fun, you know. So you get rubber bands, you get three fingers, pull it apart, keep it flat on the surface. And you have your high bridge. If your fingers are small, you can always pull it in like that, and then you just let it go. And then you just want to get all your little loose ends in slow motion. Okay, one more time. Okay, let me show you an aerial view of this. Okay, that's what we're trying to achieve here, okay? Now we're gonna take it over the dying area. Oh, hey, Ganja. Ganja, you wanna say hi? Say hi, buddy. <laughs> that's Ganja. He's my little apprentice. Does everything look cool, Ganja? All right. High five. Ow, okay. Hey, hey Ganja, be easy, boy. Okay, here we go. What we're gonna do first, we need colors. You need turquoise. Uh, let's, like, let's zoom in. Okay, here we go. We need yellow, turquoise, orange, pink, and then black. Okay? What we do first is just cream it all with orange. I actually know we're going to do the psychedelic first. See, it's orangedelic. Orangedelic means... All the colors, which is beautiful, like people. All people's colors is beautiful. So we're gonna do, we're gonna put yellow on the end here. All right, let's see how much this, how I come in from this side here. Nothing, no worries. All right, now we're gonna get pink. And when you do pink alongside the yellow, it makes it turn orangish. And do it on this side, right? Okay, now we're gonna get Turquoise. Turquoise against the pink there makes it turn purple. Turquoise against the yellow makes it turn greenish. See how you got all those colors just like out of that? So now we'll give another stripe of yellow in here. Okay. And then some more pink on the edge here. Okay, so see how we got it looks like a rainbow? Now watch this. We're gonna get the black. Oh, oh yeah. So we're gonna get the black. And um, you're supposed to wear gloves, but I ain't got any. <laughs> oh, come on now, that's not a laugh, man. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> You're supposed to wear gloves. Okay, now watch when you see this move. I want to put black over the whole top of this. Yeah, man. It's gonna be, it goes back to kindergarten and nursery school. When you got the crayons and you colored all over the paper, and then they got this black Indian ink, and you covered it all with black Indian ink, right? So cover it all with black. Now I show you how to make black in all the different colors on, my, um, on the other videos now. If you want to subscribe and hit this notification button and all that stuff, you'll be notified, yeah? You'll be notified. Okay, now we're going to flip it over. Okay, again, you're supposed to wear gloves, but I ain't got any. I'm sorry about that. I know, man. Okay, now we're going to get the orange. Okay, we're going to just cream it all with the orange, man. All right? See how I go in little circles? That way it stays on the shirt. You want to not waste dye. Okay. But don't be shy with the dye. Make sure it's on the shirt. See? You know that cool? Okay. Um, the dyes will tell you that, like, where I get the dyes from is dharmatradingcompany.com. If you use any other dyes, man, you're going to have, like, 
not really such good performance. So, uh, and my website is tiedihobo.com. Check it out. And I appreciate you coming in and checking out my video. What you do is let this sit for like 24 hours. That's what the dye company suggests. And um, I know, you gotta wait 24 hours, man. I know, it's tough, man. Hey, 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 man, I didn't make the rules, man. Okay, the, the best results, let it sit for 24 hours. Get your washer going, get the agitation going, and you know, get a full load. But have nothing else in there but just like a little mild soap. And then plop your shirt in there, right? And then uh, don't open it up. Don't don't rinse it out. Don't do anything. Just plop it in from as is, right? But make sure you wear gloves. Don't be foolish like me, you know? Yeah, I know. Okay, so let's check out the final results, okay? Hang on a second. <laughs> All right. Thank you for checking out this video and putting up with me, man, you know? Remember, I'm an artist, you know, we all have a touch of insanity. I got slapped. <laughs> I thank the Lord every day for the talent that I got that I get to share with everybody. Okay, this is the Orange Adelic Blotter. Okay, remember, my website is tiedihobo.com. If you ever come over to Hawaii, come over and check it out. I appreciate it. You know, aloha. Thank you very much.